Kia ora team and welcome. I'm Ruben from Link Academy and in this session I'm going to be taking you through the how and why of making a stock adjustment inside your Unleashed. Now from time to time unexpected things do occur. We've got faults, expiry, um, lost, damaged, missing products. We need to account for that inside our Unleashed and this is the best way how. So to start making stock adjustments inside your Unleashed you want to go to Inventory, Transactions. And I'll just talk uh, briefly here about what you see. So stock, there are some uh, different sorts of transactions we, that occur in relation to the quantity and value of our stock inside Unleashed. And uh, these are the four different options you have. So a stock adjustment is what you use when you want to adjust the quantity up or down of a particular item or series of items. How that differs from a stock count is a stock count is a more deliberate affair. It's basically a stock adjustment but in bulk. In a stock count, we enter in how many we have counted and uh, Unleashed will uh, figure out the difference between what we counted and what it thinks we have and do a series of adjustments from there. So that's like your stock take. Your warehouse transfer, um, if you have multiple warehouses, you don't need to make an adjustment when you move items between warehouses. This is basically an adjustment that is made in two different places at once. It's uh, moving stock, uh, decreasing it in one location and increasing it in another. So the net effect of that is uh, zero in quantity for your global stock on hand and uh, zero in value because uh, there's been no transaction to occur there. The last one there is a stock revaluation and that's the most complex of all. That is where we are not changing the quantity on hand but changing the value. Um, and there's a few different reasons we might do that but we'll be doing that, uh, covering that in a separate session. So what we're focusing on doing here is a stock adjustment. So if you click on stock adjustment, uh, this is the screen you're going to see. So just like a lot of the other transactions inside Unleashed, uh, we have that parked, uh, you know, parked and completed um, sort of a process where we can draft up an adjustment and uh, choose the time to complete that or choose the time to make that um, adjustment. So um, similar to the other screens inside Unleashed, everything above the grey bar here is your filter. So if I had some stock adjustments in progress, I would actually have them listed down the bottom here, but uh, I don't at the moment. Um, and the filters you have are the status, the reason, and the warehouse. So let's get into actually making an adjustment. So click uh, Add Adjustment. One of the common faults people make is that they think they have to do an adjustment uh, per product. So they're going to make, uh, if they have to adjust 100 different SKUs, they're going to do 100 different stock adjustments. Um, that's not the case. Just like when you're doing a sales order, you can add 100 different rows to your stock adjustment and adjust 100 products up and down with one stock adjustment. Um, so this is what it should look like. Starting at the top, it's important that you choose the correct warehouse. So if you have different, uh, if you have just one warehouse, this isn't something you have to worry about at all. Uh, but if you have different locations, you're gonna need to know where you are making your adjustment. So uh, what you need to tell Unleashed, where you need to decrease or increase your stock on hand. So for this, um, this particular adjustment, I'm gonna be adjusting my main warehouse. Right, the next question is the reason. So this is all set up in the setup, um, in the settings and system area. Uh, if you don't have any reasons in here, uh, talk to your Unleashed administrator and get some set up. They're quite uh, useful because it gives you a bit of a running um, uh, reporting about uh, why, uh, well, what kind of adjustments are being made and what sort of quantities and what sort of volumes. So everything you do in Unleashed can be reported on. So if you wanted to know uh, what was our you know, stock loss due to expiry, then you would need to be choosing from this list uh, in order to get that sort of information. If you put every stock adjustment down to the same uh, adjustment reason, then you're never gonna be able to ask that sort of question down the line. So have a, have a think about the sorts of categories, your adjustments both up and down, um, uh, stock adjustments both up and down might fall into and have those uh, entered in, in your administrator settings uh, so you can uh, make some um, good reporting um, decisions later on. Right, so in the scenario I'm going to work through, I'm going to um, uh, have some damaged stock. So I've had some stock, uh, perhaps it's been returned to me from a customer, I've gone and credited that customer and replaced it, but now I've got you know, two uh, damaged jerseys um, or four damaged jerseys sitting um, in my warehouse that I'm not able to sell. So I want to adjust that stock down. Great, so I'm going to choose uh, the reason, damaged, and then this ac account here. For most of you, you can just leave that alone, that'll default to the cost of goods sold account that's used for uh, all of your uh, product costing. Um, however, it's good to be aware that we can actually map uh, different adjustment reasons uh, to a different account. 
Fantastic, okay cool, so let's get into the actual adjustment itself. So the first adjustment I'm gonna make is gonna be a medium, um, and uh, we'll do the um, home, I think it's the home jersey, and we'll do minus two. So this is a real common, um, real common mistake as well. People believe, people associate the reason with the quantity, and uh, what they do is they, they, they know that damaged is a subtraction or a, a loss, right? But um, they still enter in two, and that's what Unleashed believes is that, that that's actually an increase of two units. So this is one of the few fields you can actually enter a negative number into, and if you enter in a negative two, that will subtract two from your stock on hand. So um, try to get your head around that where our adjustments can be both positive and negative, and this quantity field is in no way related to this reason field. All right. Great, so that quantity minus two is, is taking the, um, the average landed cost of that product, so the, the value of that product to me, uh, and um, that's the, the loss essentially, or the dollar value loss uh, for losing, um, having two damaged products. Uh, what it's showing you there is the availability, so how that affects, I'm gonna subtract two off the 74 I have available. And in your comments field, you can put in uh, water damage, something like that. So perhaps it was a faulty box um, or packaging that led to some water damage. So um, again, I'll, I'm gonna put in a um, large this time, uh, extra large, and we'll go uh, minus four, and uh, water damage, something like that. So you could have different reasons, um, but I'm, as you can see, just like a sales order, I'm adding different rows to the one uh, stock adjustment. Like everything in Unleashed, all of our transactions have associated uh, uh, number with them and stock adjustments are no different. So this is stock adjustment number 117 and that's going to stay with this adjustment for the life of this um, this unleashed. So we add as many rows as we like into this transaction just to mix it up a bit. I'll, I'll have a gain and we'll do um, I'll do a uh, small and perhaps uh, we looked underneath the box and we found an additional two units that we'd written off last stock take. So I'm going to put in a positive number this time, two units and uh, found under, um, or found in sales, sales person's car, something like that. So some salesperson with some sticky fingers is gonna grab some product uh, without letting anyone else know. So we've found those again and uh, we're gonna put them back in. Great. Um, what you'll notice though is that if, depending on how you, what you wanna do with your reasons, all of these are gonna be coded to damaged. So although that's a found, we, that would probably be better suited to a lost or missing, sort of category, uh, we would probably want to do that in a separate adjustment. But just to illustrate the point, uh, your adjustments can be both negative and positive in the same adjustment. Cool, what this is saying is that my total adjusted quantity is minus four units, which is just the sum of my quantity field, and the total adjusted value is the sum of my uh, value field. Cool, uh, so if this is the, if I've finished my adjustments for the day, um, or I'm part way through, I, I can save that and come back. So. If I wanted to continue making these adjustments, perhaps I'm doing a running uh, sort of, um, not a stock take, but maybe I've got a bunch of different damage stock that I'm still sorting my way through. Um, if I come into inventory transaction stock adjustments the next day, uh, that adjustment number 117 is still gonna be sitting there waiting for me as a, as a parked in progress uh, adjustment that I can go in and continue with. Cool, when I finally finished assessing all the water damage that I have, uh, I can click complete. And when I click complete, that's gonna actually subtract and add all the different quantities uh, and all those different values uh, to those SKUs. So that's the magic moment that um, is gonna adjust to my stock on hand figures. Fantastic. Great, so that stock has now been adjusted. So what we did there was how to make a stock adjustment. As you can see, you can make multiple um, SKU product adjustments inside the one stock adjustment, and they can be both positive and negative. We can also associate a reason with that, which is great for reporting. So hopefully you enjoyed that, and I'll catch you in the next session.